Imani Bates being selected by the Cleveland Cavaliers in the second round. This is an interesting pick with a lot of backstory here. Bates was really highly recruited coming out of even middle school. Forget high school. Middle school. He was projected by some to be, you know, what they tab in basketball, the next guy. He was at one point going to Michigan State. He ended up going to Memphis, transferred out, went to Eastern Michigan, and had some good moments on the court. He played really well against good competition like Toledo, South Carolina. He played well against Michigan. He showed some good things with Eastern Michigan at times. He also had some disappointments. He's a very, you know, there's a risk reward here, right? Bates has the talent. He's a shooting guard, but he's 6'9". He plays big, a.k.a. maybe a wing guy. That is why the Cavs drafted him. He'll definitely be coming off the bench in some sort of capacity. So there's a lot of potential that favorite word in the NBA. Upside. That's why they took him here. There's nothing really much more to break down here. Again, I would read about Bates' story. It's an interesting one. There is a lot of risk and reward here. There could be a huge reward of Bates. It makes sense, though, from one perspective. The Cavs need wing. I've been saying it all year. This is step one. They still need to get a wing in free agency, but this is step one, a 6'9 shooting guard.